All right, it's been around 40 minutes now, so I'm just going to stop and kind of get out of this unrelaxing position. My legs didn't burn up, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Let me stop shaking the computer before I really fuck something up. All right, so, BRB. Slowly is starting to branch out, but just so. It's like just enough to whet your appetite for what is to come. So I'm taking uh, food orders right now and currently I'm thinking what would be good for tonight. Probably a Tex-Mex thick burger from Hardee's with some beer battered onion rings, probably a large, a vanilla malt and probably a soft drink, maybe tea, nothing too hard, probably tea no soda products because that's just too hard in the stomach plus it makes me gassy like super gassy and it's like for some reason when I go to my job and I like eat there it's like I can't drink any like hard sodas anymore because my body's like so used to like softer stuff I can just like just take down with ease and that's just like worry about it later oh did we finally choose something I guess we did. <laughs> I'm like that one guy at the buffet line that wants to sample everything. <laughs> Just to see what it tastes like. Did that at a steakhouse once. It's a nice experience. I wanted to go back, but my roomie was like, nah, she didn't really like the food there. She thought it was too bland. Too ordinary. Which for her is like, uh, I don't know, ordinary is kind of her thing. She doesn't like to venture out in food like I do. At a job, I just eat like random like TV dinners from like the frozen food aisle. Yeah, right now we don't need like pouches, like ammo pouches. We need holsters for more guns. <laughs> it's like right now I think I approach games more strategically than I did in the past. In the past, I was like kind of okay, we gotta go everywhere or basically, yeah, just basically go everywhere with like a build and have no like key characteristics in place whatsoever. Which is what you know, like Fallout New Vegas is kind of a prime example of that. More or less. I didn't really start that game with like a clear mindset in mind, so that's why I kind of went everywhere. <laughs> so, with Fallout 4, if I get that game, or when I do manage to get that game, it's like I have a very, very specific build in mind. Which, for some odd reason, doesn't really specialize in any offensive style fighting. Maybe it's a mistake, so I may have to tweak it.
think in this game it wants to have you fire more from the hip than actually aim. Blood effects. I think in this game it is possible to max out every skill so you don't really have to go in like thinking about it too hard because everything's streamlined. Once you streamline everything in like a video game franchise it's like they kind of take out all the hard work of like actually doing things <laughs> period. So everything's just easier to do when it's easier to access and the game's just overall easier or faster. Easier, faster. Not slow, drawn out, and thought provoking, which you have to think through every situation. Otherwise, you end up dead and you have to restart the entire thing or whatever you're doing all over again from the beginning. Seriously? You reload after what? Yeah, dude, I was like, dude, I didn't realize, I see what happens. It's like, in war, people reload after the first shot. If they miss. Because you know the next round is, you know the next magazine is kind of special, so maybe with that magazine you'll hit with the first shot, and you'll have to reload. I can kind of see why they went with that little reflective image on uh, the screen. <laughs> it's a cool effect, but if you like stare at it for a while, you kind of like see around it. It's like it doesn't look as cool if you stare at it too long. It's like there's two sides to Jason Brody. One side is the quiet American teenager or young adult. He's rich. He has 
a lot of time on his hands because he likes to go on vacations with his friends. He likes to do extreme sports. And he likes to party with pirates, apparently. And then there's another side of Jason Brody, which is the survivor. In which his brother dies in his arms and he has to run and jump and meets people. He gets tatted up, prison style. And he likes to fire guns all day and kill things. Lots of things. Eventually, he'll get there. We'll get him there. I'll get him there. I gotta realize when I say we, I'm talking about myself and myself when I was playing the game. So it's kind of two different mindsets going in. Like stocking up on stuff. In this world, it is kill or be killed. Once I get the uh, recommended or required number of skins for something, I don't think I actually start killing anything else after that. Just for that one item. Just kill enough of that one item, then that's it. I thought you love it how, like, in the beginning of a game, we start playing it. You give a damn about everything inside the world of the game. And then towards the middle section, you start to give less of a damn about the world of the game. You're like, eh, I just want to get through it. And then by the end, you're like, oh, I'm almost done, so fuck it. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to learn about anything else new. I already know what's up, so uh, it's time to finish this bitch. That's the kind of mindset I go through in the beginning. I want to learn everything about the world. Then I get less of a damn. And then I just say, let's just get this bitch over with. Because it's time to move on. Which is why like an RPG should be like a one-way trip. As a gamer. If it's really, really, really good. Then if it has like multiple outcomes or different story paths and stuff. Then it's like, d deserves a... You know, kind of a place I can run back. Oh, I guess I'm to see apparently. Say what? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm 
You see what I'm saying? See, in the beginning, I give a damn. Then I start giving less of a damn as the game goes on. See, I took my time and liberate this camp, so I'm just going to take my time and kind of scavenge through it. Kind of see what I can find and salvage. Then I can worry about Liza. Knock knock! Take that laptop, bro. You are worthy of the Tato. Worthy to walk the path of the warrior. <laughs> okay. We found one of your friends at the colonist's house. Dr. Enhart to the west. But do not worry. It is safe there. The doctor will be waiting for you. To the west? Did he tell you which friend? No, but we will keep continuing our search for the others. I will radio you if we hear more. Keep your head up, Jason. The tribe is very impressed with you. That is a lot. Okay, it's green. It's <laughs> two guns, but it's like a butterfly. <laughs> it's a nice touch. Yeah, hold up. I gotta do something real quick. Leaderboards. <laughs> yeah. 
You know, South Park was right. They do look like ninjas. <laughs> uh, I watched three episodes today online. One was about a terrorist group, ISIS. The other was about a Craig and Tweet. And how they had a pseudo gay relationship that kind of sort of slightly turned real. <laughs> it was funny as shit. It was like anime inspired. It's like apparently the Japanese have a major saying in who's gay and who's not gay, so yeah, that's kind of that's kind of new. <laughs> and then Whole Foods, yeah, it's a it's a good alternative to the synthetic stuff, but then you know that guilt trip at the register where you have to like get one dollar to like donate to a person in need or to the person dying person that's hungry yeah that's, that's kind of it's kind of different too so yeah seems like South Park is becoming a more progressive area so yeah from time to time I kind of check that series out to see what's going on this is kind of going on forever it's kind of like the Simpsons but more Edgier. I think it's edgier. <laughs> I think they've been sued more times than The Simpsons. I'm not really sure. May have to look that up. But you know, I'm not going to look it up. The gun looks cool, but it's crap. <laughs> I hate to say it about the dragon off. But with that one, the reason it looks crap is because it's a knockoff, it's not the real one. Because that's this game's specialty. It specializes in knockoff weapons until you get to a uh, certain point. Then you start introducing the quote unquote real stuff. See, don't you love how police procedurals can get away with showing, like, really, really grotesque dead bodies on tables, whereas if, uh, well, if they show, like, the, uh, like, grisly bot, like, the, I'm trying to see how I'm trying to phrase this. So, if you show a corpse on a table in an autopsy room, it's okay to show excessive amounts of gore, well, post-gore. Because everything's dried out. But if you actually show the gore, you know, or the killing, you know, the during process of the killing, then it's like, oh, you, they didn't show you it's like a harsher rating. It's like, oh, you can't really show that on primetime TV because even though it's late at night and most of the kids are asleep, because in America you have to think about the kids. Then it gets a harsher rating. It's like TVMA or something. Whereas with TV 14, you can get it right. You can, like, kind of. Skirt by like showing a dead body on the table. <laughs> I find that kind of funny. You love violence, but when you see Tess, it's like, oh shit, no. <laughs> it's like the female body is apparently a really scary place. A lot of darkness goes on in there. <laughs> apparently. I know it's not true. People are just complicated. I try to be simple, but people say I'm complicated too.
So, which is worse, looking at menus in this game or looking at menus in Metal Gear Solid 5? Because I kind of feel like I've been looking at menus for a while now. <laughs> it's going on like almost 30 minutes. God damn. <laughs> Well, I do like to be thorough, so <laughs> I guess. Guess this is what I get for being thorough. Get to see some of my OCD type nature coming out. When we came here, it was daytime. When we operated, it was nighttime. And now when we finally exit all the menus, it's daytime. <laughs> so I think I spent a uh, good chunk of time here, probably eight to 10 hours. <laughs> Right, so this is the early game, the pre-game. So we gotta get everything together, we gotta get all the materials, we gotta get our ammunition, we gotta get the right guns and the right accessories. You know, you gotta get blinged out when you're going to war with pirates. Yeah, it feels a little bit better. I might do a com well, not in the video, but I'm gonna do a comparison of when I actually make this part with how many parts it took me in Far Cry 2 to get like decent weapons or a decent weapon. Because in there, I think you can start off with like uh, one, two, three, four. I think four, right off the right out the gate. <laughs> 